Well, how you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel, and welcome to Out of War. Now, if the tone of my voice is anything to go by, I'm a little bit frustrated right now. I was doing a little bit of an experiment with to see how much money certain things would cost me, and I ballsed up, like properly ballsed up. I'm not even joking about how annoyed I am right now. So what I did was I was experimenting with how much it would cost for a conveyor belt to stretch from the cell point here to the point I was digging which is right over there behind that tree like right over cost about 2.1 million depending on what the price you get from the computer because well the prices keep changing in this game which is absolutely amazing the best part about this is that I overwrote my save and now I'm stuck at the beginning again I flushed 40 hours worth of work <laughs> And I'm so annoyed. Basically, I was doing, I did 40 hours. Those three videos that I've released for this game has taken me 40 hours of my life to get around to doing. Gone is the road. Gone is my claim. Gone is everything I've done up to this point. Gone. Completely. Not here. It's not even on the computer. There's no way of getting your save files back. So please don't do what I just did. And don't push that save button on the wrong file game so what does this mean well it means that i'm back at the beginning so for this whole video you're gonna see everything that i'm going to do it's gonna take me about 30 hours to get all this back i'm gonna be working sort of 10 hour days in my actual life to do this properly for the next sort of 30 hours i'm gonna be playing this for the next 15 to 20 minutes you're gonna be watching a video that's gonna consist of me doing everything i am doing right now just to get to where i was just before I push record for this video. I'm so not happy right now, but at the end of the day, I know what I've got to do. I know how fast it has to be done, and I'm going to do it now. Ah, and welcome back. <laughs> so, since you left me, I've been digging again. I tell you what, it brings me right back to uh, the last time I dug down here and decided, hey, it's a good idea. I think we should try this again. Not such a fun idea. Oh, because already in my head it's like I need to build this, I need to do this, I need to get down to the bottom. I need to. I. I this is all I've done again, and I, I. We're nearly done. Nearly done. I mean, the vein is basically that's the last of the vein, which is good there, and that means there's only a little bit left in here. It means when I'm finished this, I can pull the debt off of me. I think we're down to three hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars from a four hundred thousand dollar loan, so it's not too shabby. The downside is that it's just still there. And I'm sort of missing the rock truck, if I'm going to be brutally and utterly honest. After having to, after doing so much with the rock truck backwards and forwards and, you know, getting 20, 30, 40 grand's worth of loads each time, and now back to just driving this and sitting here going, oh, I miss the rock truck. I know it sounds bad that I miss like a bunch of pixels that look like a shape but honestly it makes life so much easier when you have the right equipment <laughs> so I'm just trying to get down to this last bit now I know I'm at the bottom <sighs> this is why the last video I created was like oh yeah yeah look at what I've, I've got the bulldozer yeah I can make a path fantastic and now I ballsed up so back to the beginning basically unfortunately but it does go to show, it does i have got other things in my brain of like how to do stuff and maybe what i should aim for next instead of that one that i was trying for before the reason why is because in that last claim i had to dig down so far just to get to the ore and it's like there's an easier node much closer so i might have to test that ground out first all I need to do is just finish off this node here and we're good. And because I'm now into like what they call what is basically pay dirt, it's under the overburden. The pay dirt is actually worth just a little bit. You know, it's not worth a lot, but it'll keep fuel coming in, which is quite nice. So let's just get to the top here and then we'll just sell this off and I'll show you. It's not worth a lot. It's just enough. How can you tell you're getting out of ore? Money is just not worth what it used to be. <laughs> See, there's still a little bit down here. So I'm just going to keep mining out the rest of this. I'm probably going to get another, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 grand out of it. But it's, it's not going to be a lot. It'll be enough just to pull over a bill or two. But yeah, going to be honest, 
30 odd hours of work uh, it's a long way to keep going right well there we go we have extinguished that vein down there i'm not going back down there again i'm just gonna remember don't over don't don't overwrite what i was doing but that would be a really good solid start okay so on that note i've got three hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. i haven't paid off my loan yet but there is a bloody good reason for this now if we look at is it that one not that one where's the other deliver fuel mission that one 445 meters now you remember this one we built a road to that last time i don't need to build a road there i'm just going to struggle i'm just going to fly for it and don't really give a damn but the idea of creating a road to the build site is pretty much what i want to do anyway that's just one big thing in my entire inventory in my brain that i still have to do i'm going to drive a truck over there i'm going to deliver fuel and earn 86 grand from doing it and then worst comes to worst if I want to earn a bit more, I'll take the other fuel mission. I'll drive across the valley and then we'll go from there and earn a bit more cash. That's about it, really. I might just do all the delivery missions now and earn some cash first. Well, that's sort of what I'm going to do. So let's go and buy myself a fuel truck. Fuel truck. There we go. One fuel truck. 166 there. Grand. Done. Right, so we've got 207,000 left. Let's go and take this. And then I need to fit it up with 6,742 litres of fuel, which is quite a bit of fuel. That's like 67 grand. So we're going to fill up with $67,000 worth of fuel and we're going to go for a little drive. Yeah, I much preferred making a road to this place than driving across country with this. This was, uh, this was not nice. That was just too bumpy. I mean, yeah, okay, it was, you know, easy to do, but... Man, I, I sort of just wanted to... I've got to be honest, I prefer driving on a road. Basically, having to start this game again sucks balls, let's put it that way. So I'm gonna t I am gonna. want to test this one out first next time. So what I want to do, what I really, 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 really want to do now is I want to build the road again. And I know people are going to be like, well, but you don't need to do that. It's like, yes, I do, because it's in my brain and I need to build a road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road again. I'm going to do some ore mining again. And I want to build, I, I need to buy a rock truck again, basically. So my truck over here, this is going to go in the bin for a little bit. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to build my, I'm going to get myself a rock truck. Well, the truck get a mission gave me a little bit of extra money, which is all right. My next mission though, is to, I want to make, obviously I have to make a bit of a road because if I'm going to be running a rock truck, rock trucks can be a little bit unstable. They can fall down hills and I've demonstrated that before and so can loaders. So that's all good. So I want to try and, apart from the one I know of, which is where I want to be, let's go up okay so here we are that's where we start now there is a node of dirt right there now that could be an easier passage for me to get to this means i'd be working up the hill and not across the hill to start with which is even better i know that that node there is worth about a million a million and a half so that's not too shabby and the one behind it's pretty big as well I'm looking for easy access, and I've got to be honest, this one might just be the easy access, because there's two nodes, there's one node, let me just go and let's zoom in, and we'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, I have got three potential nodes here that could really do, that could really help. I've got this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now, they're not very big, but this means that they could be worth quite a bit of cash. And it opens up up to here as well. That's definitely the one. Alright, cool. So where my load where my loader is right now, I want to need to drive up the hill. This might actually be an easy way to make a road as well. So if I can get a, if I can get a little bit of a road in, and it'll be easier to drive up and down. And then my and then my truck doesn't have to do so much, which is good, and we could be all right. You know, this might actually work out a little bit easier. We'll have to see. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna I don't want to dig up through the hill, but I'm gonna have to start here, aren't I? So we're going to have to go up, at least. So we're going to drag this down, drag that to the bottom. Angle it a little bit so we can mount this curb. $426 for 14.9 tons. That's not worth my time. 
Unless there's something underneath that that I don't know of, then I'm not going to keep going for this. It's actually worth less than coal at this point. We'll do one more test and then we can go off and try and find something else. Worst comes to worst, I end up at that lithium mine that I was in before and it's worth a million dollars. And I know it's worth a million dollars. Now that is a little bit more promising. That I believe is lithium. Which means I reckon that other big one up there might be lithium as well. Now if that is a lithium vein, at least I know I'm going to be digging up here. Let's just go back and sell this off and see what happens. If it's worth more than 400 quid, we'll be alright. Now I did only skim the top of this, so we could be... I don't know, I'm just hoping it's if it's worth more than $500, it might be worth it. I might just go and skim the other one as well. That's worth 11 grand. That is a lithium vein. So, that's a lithium vein there. I wonder if the one next to it's lithium as well. The only way I'm telling is because it's like that pure white stuff that we found in the other hole and in my previous game as well, before I stupidly overwrote it. Because I'm a donut. I blame everyone else for being donuts as well, but I'm a donut for re erasing my own game. Oh, at least this will be easier to make a road to. Actually, I might not need to make a road. I might just be able to just scoot along this for a bit. Anyway, we've got to go round the hole that I've made. So I might have to make a road. Just push all this in. So that little bit there is lithium. What about this bigger bit over here? If this is lithium as well, then we're winning. Well, I'm honestly going to say we're winning. I don't know how deep this is. But it might be worth as a good project to start with. We might just have to scoop the rest of this whole hill. Ah, and welcome back once again. So, yep, I'm digging. So there's my base. I'm a little bit closer to home now because I've dug out this node as well. Going to be honest though, I haven't really earned a lot of money. So I don't think what I'm digging is lithium. Because if it was lithium, it would be like I'd have a shed ton of cash by now. Or the vein was just thin and I never really paid attention. But thankfully, there's another little bit up here. Now, when I say a little bit, honestly, I don't know how much it is. I've already taken bits off of this and just tried to find the edge of the node, which is actually here. I should have paid attention. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be digging from this point over to this point. It's not a lot, but it's enough to keep me going. And then we're gonna go and, I'm going to go and start up here. That one over there is coal. I don't have to worry about that at all. But... When I've got a massive patch like this and it all indicates that it's pure white stuff and it's good it's good value, I'm gonna I think what I'll do is I'm gonna start skimming the hill. So I'm gonna start working my way through it on layers because I think that would be the best way to get down. I, genuinely this might if if this is deep, this is gonna be a quarry. I'm gonna have to go very, very deep down. I'm gonna I mean, have to bring up a bulldozer just to doze off like into spaces and stuff. We shall see. So yeah, that's where I'm at on that. When it came to the original video of having the uh, the road, I am still going to build a road. I just, at the moment, I'm chasing cash. I need more money to do this. So obviously, that's sort of what I'm doing. Um, I'm working through any overburden I get from here. Just go straight into this hole because I don't need it anymore. And it's all good. Ah, there we go. Okay, so did anybody new who's basically seeing this for the first time going, well, he's just digging a hole. Yes, I am just digging a hole. But if you remember... The size of the node, which was only, let's say, about four or five squares big. This is, how, this is how big the area is of this node. And this is how much area you have to dig out just to get to this node. It goes down. You have to mine. And when you've only got a loader and a bloody, whatchamacallit, rock truck, it's a little bit difficult when you haven't got enough money. So, unfortunately, when it comes to playing this, you have to take your time. Everything takes a lot of time. And I hate to keep stating that, but it time. Time is time is of the essence in this game. You're gonna be spending a long time digging holes. Let's put it that way. So the best way I've been sort of trying to instead of mining down the whole time, I've been trying to mine across. So you get a good you get a good measure of how big the node is before you start digging down. And then you can start allocating the ramp size and how big you're gonna to have to do this and how you're gonna do that and where you're going to put your overburden and all the crap that you don't need, so on and so forth. Basically, make sure you take as much as you possibly can, make as much money as you can, and then just leave a really big hole in the floor. 
I was talking about this another another time when I was, I think it was in like a section before this. This video is being recorded over a couple of days, so I can't remember what I've said in previous sections until I come to editing. And then when it comes to editing, I'll probably balls up there as well. But what I'm basically saying is that if you ever watch things like Gold Rush, now they got into a little bit of like um, green PC action a couple of years back when. Uh, there were lots of people concerned over the wildlife and bits and pieces, and then it sort of—I think it became a sort of law that they had to start doing reclamation after they'd finished mining. And basically, re reclamation is when they have to redo the landscape, or they just have to cover it over with the topsoil so that nature has a better way of coming back. You know, so you do your mining, you clear it all out, you put some topsoil in, then it introduces new wildlife and bits and pieces. And I sort of think that. That should be something you can do in this game. Obviously, not to the extent because like laying that much like topsoil takes a really long freaking time, and you don't want to be doing that. Well, I don't know. Some people might want to, but what I'm getting at there is that with that as part of the game, you you know you go around with like a I don't know a reclamation gun or something, and then over time your pits, your old pits that you've dug out like mine would turn into like a pond or. Um, a little sort of like nest area or a little nature grove that sort of thing you know so you've sort of wrecked the land but then you're doing your bit to bring it all back that could be something that could be put into games later on but I think that might just be too much effort but until then yeah we're just digging really big holes in the floor and mining out now in the pr oh, let me just in my previous hole this one Yes, I did leave a little bit of the node, but it got to a point where I couldn't dig that side anymore because it's just too steep. I ballsed up the ramp and I just left it to it, which is why I'm taking my time on this one. I'm sort of making it wider. I'm going down steadier and I've got a little bit of land to play with behind. So I'm all good for this one. The one that I'm really, really excited about doing, which is probably going to be like the next video. I want to start on the one at the top of the hill. Now, the one at the top of the hill is massive and let me just pull up my um, little drone I say drone screenshot camera so that's where I'm digging right now that's where I've dug that's where I'm digging so that could have been a connecting one at one point that's how far I am away and there seems to be like a weird invisible wall about there so that's always fun so this is the one I want to aim for which is the one on top of the hill this is big to put it into perspective I only took like a tiny tiny amount out of this just to sort of get a gauge of what it was and all that is ore so I'm gonna what I'll have to do is I'll just have to start scraping off the top of this bit and then go down and down and down best part about it is it's the top of the hill which means I can just dig in and cut however I need to go but yeah it's, it's where I want to be now I, I genuinely genuinely <laughs> I want to be up on there but I know I have to finish this off first and this isn't a small vein either, this is quite a large one. I'm hoping where I was digging before, which is over here, I'm hoping for something about that. You know, half a million, that'd be quite nice. You know, it'd be a good sort of like bumper. Especially the fact I'm still so early in the game, still because obviously I ruined myself. And um, I'm now looking at retracing all that money that I did have so I could get myself a bulldozer, so I could get myself the, all the equipment I had before. You know, because I was just getting to a point where I was upgrading my front loader because it just ran better. I, I, I bought a, a DW500 blinking bulldozer, and I was happy. And now I'm back to using a front loader, and it sucks. So yeah, that, that's where we're going. That's what I intend to do now. And um, now the idea is just to mine and just get to the bottom of this because this isn't a small node this is going to be quite deep i'm probably looking at the best part of around 25 foot maybe I'm, i reckon it'll probably be as deep as that one over there which will be all right lots and lots to do then so um yeah sorry about not comp not uh, continuing with my previous game but it's impossible when you overwrite it yourself and you're a numpty and you're trying a different experiment and all of a sudden you screw up your own save data but it's all good on the plus side, I'm still enjoying the game. A little bit frustrated and a little bit annoyed. But I've only got about another like 20-something hours to put into this before I'm up to that level again. 
all's fair in love and war apart from this isn't love and war this is just me being a donut anyways if you are enjoying this series and you're enjoying the videos that i'm putting out you know become a subscriber if you want to hit the like button because you know that shows support for the channel and shows support for the videos and if you really 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 want to help out down in the description box below there's a little merch link you can buy yourself a t-shirt hat sticker or you can become a member of the channel for what, 99 cents a month now because I've I put in a smaller one, so basically, you know, for 25 cents a week, you can become a member of this channel, have your name highlighted in green, have a little icon next to your name, and you get seen a bit more in the. And you can use emojis in comments. I mean, that's pretty cool. Anyways, if this all interests you, hope to see you on another video. I want to say thank you very much for kicking by the Spin Hybrid to do, and I'll see you all later. I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do, and um, yeah, let's hope that I can get this done a little bit faster. I mean, I've got the weekend coming up, so I've got a good. I may even do a light. We'll have to see how things go. It may just be me talking and digging a lot, but yeah, it'll be a laugh, wouldn't it? Catch you later. Bye bye for now.